and that's why this video here is going to probably be the most important video I ever post. What's happening in the crypto market and the amount of wealth destruction. Mm -hmm. The Terra Project and its two tokens, UST and Luna. The wild ride for crypto markets continues yet again. Cryptocurrencies, well, they're actually taking a, a bigger hit. We're in an environment right now where inflation is high. Today, the volatility in crypto prices shows no signs of letting up. The value of Australians' investments in cryptocurrency is plunging. I have never seen anything like this. You don't need a password in order to encrypt something. They tricked us. They made us think that you need a password just to be able to use encryption. And no, you don't. Of course you don't. You, you can encrypt things anytime you want. I'm your host, Ben. If you caught the video yesterday, I posted about Luna, Terra, and UST and what has happened with UST depegging from the US dollar, my thoughts on stable coins and the overall crypto market and who I traced it back to as the most likely culprit behind this attack on the crypto market because I do believe this was not an accident or an ordinary rug pull. And that's why this video here is going to probably be the most important video I ever post. Without the internet, cryptos cannot exist. The internet can be turned off for now. But if we continue to adopt decentralization and push PKT into the spotlight, this could create a decentralized worldwide internet that cannot be turned off. After the attack on UST and we're seeing how much damage can be done in the billions of dollars, many, many people getting their hard earned investments destroyed in the blink of an eye. The same thing could happen to every single cryptocurrency right now because all of them require you be on the internet. So every cryptocurrency is dependent no matter what crypto you are invested in or is your favorite project what happened to ust and luna could happen to other projects i cannot stress how important pkt is right now at this time in history wi-fi direct allows you to um set up sessions without necessarily having internet access and it doesn't require you to enter a password that type of stuff so we're envisioning uh your android app your iphone app it's just going to automatically say up oh, there's a network there's a connection we're going to connect to that and we can have encrypted open wi-fi the ultimate goal that pkt is aimed at is disrupting the internet service provider monopolies like comcast spectrum and others so you can find the website to pkt.cash in the description or just type in pkt.cash i will be doing tons of videos on pkt tons of updates and including videos as well on how to set up the mining wallet other things that you can do with pkt at the moment and what the developers are trying to do moving forward and instead of me telling you about cjdns why don't you hear it from Caleb's mouth himself from a recent AMA? And the way CGDNS works, it's using compact source routing. It's uh, detecting a route server. Once it detects a route server, it sends a request to that in order to find out how to get to where it needs to get. And then it gets the route back. Uh, and then it sends source routed packets through the CGDNS network. You got a CGDNS session here. You got a CGDNS session here. CGDNS just knows how to set up networks. PKT launched not too long ago and one thing to recognize is over this last week when every market was crashing the u.s stock market cryptos gold silver all of that pkt actually went on a nice run and in one day jumped from half a penny all the way up to a penny which is a big move for that cheap of an asset now of course it pulled back some but comparatively to the rest of the crypto market, PKT has held up very strong. And part of the reason is, is because there's really only to zero for the floor. That is the total risk of PKT as it goes to zero. So I like to refer back to my good friend, Charles Allen, CEO of BTCS Inc., a node validator that most of you have heard me mention before. When asked about the crypto market and Web 3.0, 
and how to evaluate it, he simply asked the question back, how much is the internet worth? So the answer to that question is the possible ceiling of PKT. And then right here is a little overview of the phases to make it nice and simple to understand if you're new to the project. Phase one, launch the PKT blockchain and begin bandwidth hard mining using packet crypt. Phase two, utilize technology use cases including VPN bandwidth leasing, tokenized bandwidth, DeFi, and connecting PKT to CJDNS. Then phase three, scale low cost internet sharing, introduce first cloud ISPs, enable high speed transactions in and out of PKT using Lightning Network. And then phase four, innovate on cloud ISP commercialization, getting on the internet without a traditional ISP. So you will be able to get on the internet without Spectrum or Comcast. So this is a letter from Caleb James, the head developer of PKT, CGA DNS, Packet Crypt, all of that, about his inspiration for PKT. And I highly suggest that you go through and read this. But I want to go down to the very bottom. PKT carries forward the belief that communications should be encrypted. This means nobody should have to apply for HTTPS certificates. There should be no question of the origins of a data packet when it is received. Nobody should ever need a VPN to get another internet connection when they already have one. If you believe that the internet should be owned by the people and that no one should ever be denied access while bandwidth sits unused, if you want to look back on the days of $50 a month the way we look back on the days of $18 phone calls, come build with us. We're just getting started. A big shout out to Caleb because he is talking my language. So now let's take a little overview look at the utility of PKT. It is an open source ecosystem built around the PKT blockchain, the native currency PKT Cash, and powered by high-speed decentralized encrypted network infrastructure. And this is where it gets real spicy. The PKT Cash cryptocurrency is designed to support microtransactions and infinite transactions per second using Lightning Network. PKT encourages entrepreneurs to leverage PKT's technology to facilitate a global decentralized bandwidth trading marketplace. They want developers to come and build on and in the PKT ecosystem. The goal of this project is decentralization of the internet. So if everything they do in this project is very transparent and clearly decisions are made considering every part of the PKT network, including the community. But you can join the Discord community by joining the invite link down in the description below. Share this video, get it out to everybody you know. We gotta get PKT out in the spotlight where they can really, really get to developing this project and help usher in Web 3.0 for the future. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time. So uh, the question is, do you think everyone is going to install nodes on their computers so that the PKT network is going to be 100% impossible to shut down? Um, yes, I do. Right now, every computer on the internet has TCP IP. It has, uh, I mean, it has IP routing, uh, fundamentally IP um, packet handling capability. Uh, I believe that uh, by 10 years from now, every computer on the internet was going to have CJDNS packet handling capability. Um, and that it will make the internet fundamentally impossible to turn off because it's going to separate the network service operation that the service providing is going to be separated from the infrastructure so you got a wire connection to something perfect you connect that wire and then after you've connected the wire then you will think about who, the, the 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 rights to use that wire and how the person who ran that wire is going to be remunerated for their effort by splitting the infrastructure from the service. I mean, this is the same thing that Uber and, and Airbnb did. What Uber did was they split the, the operation of the taxi from the administration of the taxi service. 
And what we're doing is we're splitting the operation of the physical infrastructure, the, the boots on the ground stuff that you have to be anywhere in the world, you have to be physically present to do it from the operation of the network, which is a very complex, you know, high end thing that you need to be, you need to have a, a business in order to do it. So by splitting those apart, we create more competition on both sides and we make it so that you have, well, you'll have the opportunity, uh, the option of hundreds, if not thousands of different ISPs, even if there's only one telephone line coming to your house and you're going to have, um, it's going to be a network that pretty much cannot be shut down because if you've got a little mesh network inside of a community, like I said, if you've got three different people have three different satellite providers, plus you have somebody using the telephone network, plus you have somebody using the cable network, plus you have somebody with a fiber, there's no way to turn off all of those uplinks. So that community is going to have unstoppable internet.